so i paid my fees i paid my on campus housing rent uh i even bought an iphone from that loan money i i did my bachelor's from maharaja agrasen institute of technology which comes under ip university in delhi uh it was it was a pretty decent college uh and i think i decided to pursue masters in my second third year uh started preparing for gre and everything uh and i think i gave gre in and the at the end of third year and i also started applying at that time only uh i researched a lot uh researched a lot about the universities because uh, just like most students uh you know coming from a middle class background we will have to spend every penny in a, with a calculative mindset so mostly i was targeting universities uh which which were not very expensive luckily uh like the fortune were in my favor so got an admit from stony brook university which was the most ambitious one on my list uh, i applied to three uh basically uh like a uh, safe universities uh which i which i thought and based on the advisors which i thought it was safe for me like ut dallas university of houston Uh, and then three moderate universities northeastern uh, university of florida which i thought based on my profile and then there were some the most ambitious ones uh, like stony brook university uh, and tamu and like the other names got an internship at amazon uh, from stony brook university so i spent a summer in amazon seattle office seattle headquarters which they have uh, awesome uh, very fun learning fun internship uh, worked with brilliant minds again i was i was lucky uh, got got a job two months before my graduation i got my first job in tesla uh, so yeah so i uh, went to bay area like came came to bay area in 2018 feb uh, so tesla was my first full time job uh, spent like 5 6 7 months there uh, i expected it to be a lot better but you know i was interested in cloud computing and something like that and tesla's and tesla now and tesla 4 years back was very different at that time uh, model 3 wa- was not launched so the whole company was focusing on model 3 launch and work culture was very chaotic and you know especially for a new grad like me at that time i needed a lot of mentoring but nobody had the time to mentor it it was basically you know sink or swim kind of culture there uh, and i i did not like it uh, to be honest yeah i got an opportunity at sap uh, sap labs uh, so it was it's my second job sap labs uh, i went there learned a lot about cloud computing i was in their multi cloud architecture team so worked with aws gcp azure alibaba cloud all kind of uh, found some good teammates then i think so i yeah so i i got an offer from salesforce at that time uh salesforce yeah pretty good company very good work culture so i joined salesforce after that uh really really enjoyed it but i wanted to explore something new wanted to you know uh be in the startup culture uh learn a lot of things in small time grow in small time so that that was my priority so yeah i started exploring the market uh like 5 6 months back uh got some very solid offers i got offers from uh linkedin got offers from tiktok facebook and i think facebook was the one which i liked uh and definitely i think it it, it helped me reach to greater heights in my career and i i learn a lot so in facebook you have a like a boot camp for the first two months in which you sit with different teams try to determine which teams you want to work with So basically uh, I am currently in the Instagram pillar uh working for a team which lies under Instagram just just started the uh, actual work like 2 3 weeks back so not, nothing much I can say about that but but it, it's been a uh, like a very beautiful journey for me at least uh there have been ups and downs uh, you'll you'll face a lot of struggles but but I think in the end it was eventually all worth it uh i think gpa has played the most important part in my application uh i i i was among the let's say 
top four or five rectors of my university for CS departments. Uh, in our university, there's no concept of GPA. Uh, there's a percentage, but I can just give an example that my percentage for eight semesters combined was 81%. The topest percentage was 84%. Uh, so probably, yeah, that, 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 that really makes a difference. Now I feel that, uh, you know, being among the top four or five percentile of the class, uh, my GRE was not that strong. Uh, it was it was 310 and I did not reapply. Uh, I was getting 315, 312, 313. That has been my range, but I got 310 in the final test and I decided to just go with that. Uh, TOEFL, basically TOEFL scores are just something like a threshold, like, uh, but, but I got a decent, I think it was like 101 or 102 uh, in TOEFL, which was uh, enough to clear the bar for the universities that I was applying to. Uh, I had I had some research papers, uh, uh, some cool projects to show, but I had no work experience. So probably my GPA, my projects, and you know my passion for the course that that's the only thing which I could have written in SOPs. Uh, Stony Brook uh, has no concept of scholarship. Uh, for international students that I know, like I'm not sure if things have changed in the last two, three years, but in our batch, there was no scholarship, but definitely you can get TA and RA opportunities uh, in your second semester based on your GPA of first semester. Uh, and you can do part time jobs as well. There's a lot, but but there's always a pressure of doing your master's in three semesters. That means taking four courses in one semester, which becomes really intense. Uh, so, yeah, so. That was, that was really intense. Uh, fee is, I think for a US university, it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm, I think it was somewhere close to $1,000 per credit. Uh, and we had around 30, 31 credits, which you need to complete in three semesters. Uh, that's my understanding, but but I can give you, I took an education loan uh, from Credila, HDFC Bank because that was the only bank which was giving uh, loans without collateral. Uh, my, my dad had collateral, but I don't want it to, you know, involve anything like that uh, for my studies. So I just decided to take non-collateral. Uh, got a loan for 25 lakhs. Uh, and I think not not sponsoring Credila or anything, but it was, it was very flexible, you know. Uh, so that's like a loan, 25 lakhs, and you can just get it for anything. So I paid my fees. I paid my on-campus housing rent. Uh, I even bought an iPhone from that loan money. Uh, so, so yeah. So totally, uh, like I can tell you that I, from that 25 lakhs, I took a loan of 23 lakhs. Uh, I paid my last semester fees from the internship money I made from Amazon, which was very good. So it covered the whole of my uh, last semester expenses. So overall, like my, uh, I'm pretty sure you can do it for even cheaper. Like my lifestyle was uh, a little, you know, uh, kind of extravagant lifestyle, I would say. Uh, but but if, if, if you're something uh, very adamant and studious kind of a person, and if you want to save money, you can do it for much cheaper. Uh, so overall, uh, I took a loan of 23 lakhs. Uh, and I was able to pay it off in probably six, seven months, uh, like when I started my job at Tesla. I, I know some, like my friends who joined uh, like Meta just directly after, you know, uh, university, they got a sign on bonus of 40 lakhs and they just paid it in one day. So there are people like that as well. My focus was very clear of doing a job, uh, in Bay Area or in New York City uh, after graduation. So, yeah, so I, I took the course just like that. And I think it's very industry oriented. Uh, they prepare you, you know, what a good quality code is, like things which will help you in your job as well. Uh, not not very theoretical. It was very industry oriented. That That's what I liked the most. The professors were also, you know, when they'll, when then they are mentoring you, uh, they'll, they'll give examples of, okay, so Steve Jobs used to do that. And on which, which, which kinds of, you know, motivates you. And also I think the placements, uh, I, I like did not, I, I heard that they are good. Uh, and I heard that Stony Brook is a system school and 
like you know most companies which will come are system companies like intel vmware or some nyc banks like goldman sachs morgan stanley but but i was surprised uh, like how much fang hires from stony group like i can give you an example in my batch uh, i interned at amazon but in my batch i think we had a batch of around 130 140 26 people from that batch interned at facebook Uh, and when the facebook orientation was going on uh, and when they were asking like you know what universities you are from so stony brook had 26 people and stanford has like 10 people and everyone was like oh what's that school stony brook like you know a lot of interns coming so and i think it has a very strong alumni network uh, almost everyone in my batch uh, got placed got placed in very good companies uh, the coursework was excellent uh also uh state university very very economical to the pocket as well um mostly people in stony brook university they live in on campus housing uh and just like every other university most of the master students are you know india from india or either china uh, so it becomes a lot of you know a good community like all my friends used to live like two steps two apartments away three apartments away Uh, so it was a very good you do your assignments together uh, basically like yeah so i married my wife she's also from stony brook so i met her there as well so yeah that that's definitely the the best thing i got from stony brook uh, i think it's it's a school that i would highly recommend uh, even if you are into doing jobs even if you are into research and it's in the long island so there is nothing much to do that's a university town So the only thing you can do there is study uh, and which which will which will eventually help you